Hello everyone, Alex Awa for Discovery of Wine. Same attire as yesterday. Yes, I'm taping this second show the same day. So um, let's get right into it. Another tasting. And this time I realized I hadn't done an episode on Cabernet Franc, which is one of my favorite varietals. And uh, one that not a lot of people know of. Um, so here it is, Cabernet Franc. So what we have today is Chateau des Charmes, State Ball, Niagara on the Lake, 2008 Cabernet Franc. I don't believe this is available at DSEQ. I'll check it out. If it is, I'll link it underneath the episode as usual. 13% uh, alcohol. This has done nine months in oak barrels. And so this is their entry level. I think I paid this $13. I might have realized I have a lot of Niagara wine. I went there uh, right after New Year's. So a couple of months ago, and um, so yes, that's what I'm doing. But basically the episode is not about this specific wine, more about Cabernet Franc. But we're going to try this out and see how it fares. So Cabernet Franc, mostly used in the Loire Valley. So you'll find some Chinons and some Bourgueries, which are the two, probably the two most well-known appellations for 100% uh, or for wines that are mostly Cab Franc. Um, and they're also used in, um, in a lot of uh, Bordeaux blends, uh, usually in a small percentage, usually it's uh, either Merlot or Cabernet Sauvignon, which is first, and then, you know, Merlot, Cabernet, or Cab Merlot, and then you get Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc, um, maybe some Malbec, stuff like that, so you usually get a little bit of this. Uh, Cabernet Franc. Now, when you smell one of those wines, or if you smell a Cab Franc fr from uh, the Loire Valley, if you're getting a lot of green pepper, that comes from the Cab Franc. So it has a little more of a green aspect. Um, sometimes it might even feel like it's unripe, the fruit. Uh, but if you like vegetables and uh, you like that style of wine, not too fruity, not too sweet, um, Give it a try, you might like this stuff. Plus the um, Cab Franc from the Loire Valley, you can get some like some good chinos for 20 bucks. So you know, you get the top appellation or the top region producing a certain wine for only 20 bucks, that's a steal. If you think about Burgundy, if you go for, um, you know, maybe not Premier Cru or Grand Cru, but uh, you go for I don't know, a Pomar village or something, that's already going to cost you 30, 40 bucks easy and it's not even the top appellation. So, anyways, let's get into this wine. Getting a little bit too much oak for my liking, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of sweetness, which is all good and fine, but it's not what I'm looking for with this wine. So, I am getting a little bit of that green Cab Franc aroma. Yeah, as it's opening up, it's coming through, but I'm getting a little bit too much oak for this type of wine. Uh, this is not the type of wine that I like to have with tons of oak. I don't like tons of oak to begin with, um, but this isn't the type of wine that will cover it up well, like, you know, a big Chateau du Pape or a big cab that's aged a little bit might cover up or might not let too much of that wood come through but here it is coming through a little bit more than I'd like okay in the mouth though there's no mistaking the cab front you don't notice the oak that much, so much better. The nose is not bad, it's just not Cab Franc. It doesn't sing Cab, cab Franc to me, so that's why I'm not uh, going for it. I mean, it's okay. I've had better Cab Francs. I've had um, a lot of Cab Francs that I would have with just, I don't know, a salad or something light, very nice. Um, this is going to be definitely much better with my meal. 
It's, uh, I mean, it's well made. It's, uh, I get the fruit, I get the mid palate, uh, clean finish. Finish is not too long though. A little bit, maybe, I'd say a little bit too much acidity. That's what's lingering in my mouth. It's, it's a fine wine. I think I paid, I don't know, 12, 13 bucks for it. Uh, it does its job. It's perfectly fine. Um, I like Cab Franc, so I'm fine with this. Somebody who does not like Cab Franc so much or wants to try Cab Franc, I would recommend try a Chinon or a Bourguet that your uh, advisor at the SCQ might recommend because you have a better chance of appreciating the varietal than if you try this one, which is, yeah, so so. So, this is a pass. Um, don't know why I bought it, to be honest with you, but I did. And um, so, that's it for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with maybe more of an information type of episode. So, that's it. And uh, have a good evening.